today we're going to review the horror anthology called Holidays. It takes you through eight holidays in sort of a dark, twisted, horror, dark horror theme way. Let's check it out. I'm sorry, we're closed. Oh, no, 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 I, I called about the- Sorry, pal. Holidays are hell. I'm scared. Shh. Time to close your eyes and go to sleep. Someone's coming tonight. First up in this anthology, we have a film centered around Valentine's Day. What can easily be a love story is a different take, and it's done by the group that did Starry Eyes, if you've ever heard of that. You know it's going to have a style to it if they're going to be behind it. The film has great colors, great cinematography, uh, everything shot very well. But the story itself is kind of redundant. We've seen this before about bullies. And to me, the bullying was so overdone. So by the time we get to the end of the, the short, I just found myself not really caring about what happens. Up next we have St. Patrick's Day. Hmm, I don't want to give too much away. School teacher that is plagued with the mythology of St. Patrick's Day. So I award the uh, team behind this one for not going the easy route of doing the uh, Leprechaun. Uh, think Wicker Man sort of-ish is where it kind of goes. Um, this one, once again, is shot very well. It's acted very well and it has some creepy overtones there, but in the end, it's kind of a muddled mess. It's kind of confusing by the reaches the end and either you're fully on board or you're just kind of left sitting there going, what did I just watch? Up next, we have Easter. Now, Easter is well worth a watch. I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm not gonna say too much. Uh, there's this little girl who's asking her mother about all the questions that you would normally wonder about Easter about Jesus, about the Easter Bunny. And let's just say we kind of see something of that come back during this Easter holiday. And I won't ruin too much, I won't even show the picture of anything, but the effects are really cool. It's, it's a neat little short. What we have next is Mother's Day. Hmm, terrible. What can I say? Uh, and Mother's Day is one of them. Mother's Day kind of tells the story about a woman who every time she has sex, she gets pregnant. That's horrifying as it is, but uh, her doctor suggests that she goes to this camp or place, some sort of weird dream segments that go on. And in the end, it just kind of ends. Then it's another segment where you're just kind of wondering what happened. We have Father's Day. Kudos, 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 kudos for Father's Day. Uh, I think it is the best short or the best segment in this entire movie. It's well worth the watch. Um, you know, there's only about three shorts I would say that are really worth it. This one is my number one favorite in this whole holidays anthology. Um, it tells a story about a young lady she basically receives a tape on Father's Day. It's from her deceased father, which is already kind of strange that why would she get this tape? And the tape is basically a recording of her 
when she was little with her father out by the ocean and he's just saying all these wonderful things and is, is harboring all these feelings and emotions for her. And what happens is the tape gets to the end and it says, if you wish to reconnect with me, flip this tape over and go to the secret location that we know. And I'm not going to ruin or say what happens, but this, you know, the short is just so amazing to me. The way it's shot, the way it's framed, the coloring, uh, it also stars the young lady from House of the Devil. She can act her ass off. Uh, she's awesome. And uh, the music in it, the score is fantastic. The voice on the tape, the father is Michael Gross, which you might know him from the hit 80s show called Family Ties, and also all the Tremor films you might know him from. But he is a perfect cast for the voice as the father, uh, because really it's all dialogue that he is speaking throughout the entire short. You know, horror anthology based on holidays, you would think Halloween would be it. It is sadly, no. Written and directed by Kevin Smith. Now, as you know, Kevin Smith has a long history with fans of being that he was good before, and he kind of steadily went declined. But let me tell you a little bit about the short. It stars these three young ladies who are kind of doing this cyber nudity kind of uh, thing. And uh, their pimp, basically, basically their pimp, um, tells them that they can't go out on Halloween because they're not making money. So they decide to basically turn the tables on him. You know, it's bad dialogue. There's, you know, dick jokes and this and that and whores and yada 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 yada. All that kind of stuff you expect from Kevin Smith. But no, it's Kevin Smith. It's terrible. I would say it's the worst segment in all of them. So the Christmas short is starring uh, Seth Green and it tells the story about a young father who wants to get his kid the last gift on Christmas Eve that's in the store. It's the last one in the store. We've seen this before in Jingle All the Way if you know that Arnold Schwarzenegger film. The toy he wants to get his child is a VR headset. So when he puts this VR headset on, it kind of shows these weird images of things that are happening or going to happen in the future. It was okay. I kind of already forgot mostly what happens in this short. And last but not least, we have New Year's Eve. Now New Year's Eve tells the story about a serial killer who is looking for love, basically. Each time he finds a woman, he kills her. And so he meets this young lady on a dating site. And what happens is there's a twist there. It's a better one out of all the bad ones, put it that way. Holidays gets a 4 out of 10. Like I said, if they would have wrapped it up, have a wraparound story would have helped it. Uh, some of the better segments would have helped. But in the end, it's not really worth watching. That's it for this movie review on holidays. If you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're seeing holidays, leave it down in the comment section. What did you think of it? And also, if you can pick one holiday to do a horror film on, what would it be? Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.